no so we are not you know uh, setting that and this is the do login we will execute first here a linkedin home page is you no know, it will execute alphabetical order next that's why first it came here you can see here it came here after before class first before class will execute right obviously right before class executed this executed and everything set and then it went to test method so first test method alphabetical order do login is there this one do login it came here but no url browser is open but no url so that's why it is failing now that's why it is failing so that is the reason it failed you can see so linkedin home page it is saying pass but how it passed even it didn't execute at all okay so it has to skip that is all uh, problems so that's why you have to if there is a dependency you have to set the dependency among test methods so how to set the dependency that dependency you have to write here so now this method has to execute first for you before this so that's why you will set depends on methods depends on methods equal to curly brackets inside you put the which method you want to execute first before this that you execute so now i'm saying okay before this method execute this method i'm saying very clearly same way here also so before logout which one it has to execute for you login should be login. login should be done right mm -hmm. otherwise it doesn't work out so login should be done so just write so the method you copy the method name this is the method name just copy the method name now you see the order is set now even you can you are setting the order also with the depends on methods keyword order also you are setting along with the priority order also you are setting so that is the reason uh, you can set the order you can set the dependency with this. so which one you want to execute first you can control everything that all features given by test ng framework not selenium framework so test ng framework is giving that features to you okay so you have to understand that so this is the how the test ng you know uh, gives a lot of extra features to selenium so now just run this you set it now now you run as a test ng suit so please understand when you run independent test case test ng test when you run as a suit file when you create a suit file you have to run as a suit only test ng suit so test ng suit i am running Okay, so something wrong. It didn't log out, right? Some delay happened, right? Maybe it's looking for that. It failed. So reason for failure, you can see that. Uh, expected a condition, timeout exception. Mostly we'll see this timeout exceptions. So expected a condition failed, waiting for a presence of element located by CSS selector. A global now photo ember view. So where is that? See that like how to how to debug this? How to debug this? You got like this, right? How to debug this? You have to look always for your class name, yeah. method I name. See that. that. So parameters depends on method. See our class name. Then do log out. Yeah. So it is looking for a 79 line. Mm -hmm. So that means <clears throat> profile me icon, it is looking for that. So 
this is the what it is looking for this one so let's see why that is that hasn't come it closed yeah it has closed so maybe you can log in so then you can see that i'll just log in and i'll see the quick um, security check all this mm -hmm. Long. That is okay. correct way up. Huh? Okay. okay. And it is asking. It won't be. Doing quick security check also. Let's see. Okay. Then meditation with this. So I'll do. Okay, so it is looking for this one. So this, this is the profile me icon, and this is the profile rail card. Okay, so your profile card, basically profile card, this one, this one is a, so when you click on this, sign out will appear. So first you have to click, right, that is failing, that itself failing. So you have to see that, why it is failing. Something wrong, okay? So something happened here. There is a image. So IMG, this is the one. This is the image. That image, see global now me photo. So this is the, I think it is correct only global now me. So global uh, now underscore. Is it big underscore is there? Yeah, it's correct only. Photo iPhone number view. Okay, it is added extra. See, photo after I have written yeah. this one, but this one is added. The change happened. So that is the reason. Okay, so you shortcut it. Okay, you shortcut it. So that, that's easy, right? If you star means, what is this star means? What is the star? Hmm? Contains. Contains. Yeah. Contains. Right? So if it contains, this class contains automatically, it will handle that. So here also, so multiple. This is the problem. See, we one element, so element changes, we have to modify multiple places. So that's, that's the problem. That's why this approach is not the right way. So putting the same uh, class file, the object identification, you should not place it here. So there is a framework will come there. So the framework, what it will help? This element you will keep there, only element you will call here. That's it. You're not going to so, uh, write like this multiple times. See, one, two, three, four times I have written, right? You, are, you should not do that. So it's a maintenance issue, right? Tomorrow it changes, now it changes, right? Value changed. Now you have to modify three times, four times. It's a waste of time, right? This one element is fine, but if there are uh, such kind of elements 10 for every page, what do you will do? So it's going to be more burden to the tester, right? Automation tester. So that is a reason uh, you should not do this approach. But the approach I'll tell you what, what we are going to do. So every element you are going to place in the one page class, from there only we'll read them. 
So that's the plan. Let's see now. See, now it is closed, right? Before there was an issue with the object identification. So it was, you know, whatever you have given, it is waiting for that. And it didn't appear, it didn't turn up. The element identification changed now. So that is the reason timeout exception you are getting. Timeout exception. So now it is passed. And uh, now, for example, suppose this test case failed, right? This test case failed. I'll, I'll give you here some wrong one, okay? This test case failed. Now, but this one is this title you are verifying, sign in title. Sign in page is going to load, but only title verification not correct. So then this test case will execute or not. If we write the always equal to run, it will execute. So let's see first, you know, when, when we, it's going to execute or not, you need to understand first. What happened? Can you read that this uh, uh, result? Parameter so total test run three passes zero, failures one, one skips skips. skips two. Oh. It is skipping. Yeah. So why it is skipping? The reason you go and read the reason. So you go here and read the reason. Very, very clearly, reason mentioned. See the count, pass it count zero, skip it count two. Failed count Same one. Again. So, and you can see here why they are skipping. Can you read this? Assertion failed, okay? First is assertion failed in the, uh, this test case, home page test, assertion failed, okay? But this one, why they skipped these two? Do log in, do log out. Mm -hmm. The reason for them is this one. Parameter uh, depends on methods demo. Do login test. Uh, so depends on not, not successfully, successfully, not successfully finished. finished. So depends on not successfully finished methods. Depends on not successfully finished methods. It's not finished successfully. So that is the uh, how you can so do that depends on not successfully finished that's when it is these two are skipped so in order to set that you have to even though the test case fails see that failed one is in red color but uh, pa, no skipped one in lemon color can you see that that's the indication so how you can set this my page is available i should continue i cannot uh, no hold it so to continue that you just Right, always. This one is equal to three. I don't want to hold it. So this is the enough. And this your test case will continue. But here not required because login successful only, logout will happen. Otherwise, it won't happen. We run this now. So now it will continue. Even failure happens there, but still it will continue because always run equal to true. You did okay. see passes to failure one. So now you go and see the report. See the pass count is two. Uh, skip it zero. Retry it zero. Failed one. Failure. This is the one. So the reason failure reason is you have here assertion. assertion. Okay, so this is how you are expecting. So this one, but found the this actual. one. So this is the actual one, and this is your expected one. Okay, so you are expecting this one, but found this one in the application. So that's the how you. But let's see now. This also I'll uh, correct it now. Let's correct it and run the test case. So I'll give a proper title, right? Let's give proper title. 
So now it will run properly. So this is how to set the dependency, how to give parameters from XML file. So if you want to give a parameters from XML file, what you need to do first, initially you have to declare add parameters annotation in your class. Add parameters annotation in your yeah. class. Yeah. So then declare the parameter names in the test yeah. method or any other annotation method. That same uh, parameter names you have to use in the nice. suit Question. file. Okay, so that's all about parameters annotation and how to create a suit file, how to play around with that. Okay, so that's all the test keywords we have completed. So we have covered the depends on methods, always run equal to true, groups, invocation count, and uh, so enable equal to false, parity, invocation count, timeout, data provider. I have covered all the keywords, okay? So tomorrow we'll see a few more test cases and how to run parallelly. How to run test cases parallelly, I'll show you tomorrow. And how to run classes parallelly, how to run uh, different browsers, uh, few test cases, I'll show you tomorrow, okay? So mostly uh, the testing is over, okay? Testing is over. How you practice is it all depends on you, okay? So make sure you practice and I'm, I'm giving